also another great qualifier, but uh, boy, trouble in the match play. Yeah, certainly a great week here at Woodland Bowl, the championship match between Doug Kent, three wins under his belt tonight, and uh, Jeff Safino was looking for his very first uh, tournament. These two met before. 1996 in Detroit. Zafino led the tournament, finished second to Kent. Opening shot. And he strikes and shows a little enthusiasm, but boy, you know, I have got to make Kent the prohibited favorite in this match. So Zafino will win his first title. If things go true to form <laughs> and, and, and everything goes the opposite way of what I say, then uh, probably, but you got to like Kent's opportunity here. So solid. He struck 27 out of 36 frames so far tonight. First frame. And he has a strike. 28-37 for Kent. And I really think leaving that 10 pin in the 10th frame was the best thing that could happen to Kent as far as his opportunity of winning. Because when you shoot 300 on television, you expend so much energy, sometimes you just don't have anything left. Right now, he looks very fresh. Yeah, Kent has ripped through this outstanding field. High game this week, 299. Low, just 186. Yeah. Wants to get off to a fast start, and he does. That's his answer to Zafino's, do you still have anything left? Swings the ball wide, brings it back, flush in the pocket, just perfect. And he knows it. He loves it. Answer that. Zafino with a strike to start. He pulled, like he pulled it. it. Definitely left off his hand. Possibly a nervous shot. Big week for Zafino. A win, and he qualifies for next week's uh, Tournament of Champions, the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions. As Zafino now goes for the spare. He picks it up. I think this guy's rooting for Doug Kent. He's on the bubble. He wants to bowl next week. If Safino wins, he's out. Rick Lawrence. Seems pretty calm. There's really nothing he can do. Kent has bowled so well tonight. But Safino has bowled well all week as he grabbed the top spot. Did not project the ball down the lane. Ball hooks early, goes through the nose, leaves the 6-10 again, and back-to-back -back shots through the, through the high on the head pin, right through the nose. First top 24 appearance this year, so it has not been a very good year, but certainly a great week. Needs to pick up the spares early to stay in the match, and he does, so he starts off with a strike and a couple of spares, but Doug Kent off to a double. Now take a look at Zafino. Watch the way he slides as he releases the ball. Most people plant and throw. I was a slider like that. Mm -hmm. You were. You won a few titles, though. 20, well, 22. And you're a Hall of Famer. Well, I thank you. But give him a chance. That's three in a row for Doug Kent. Kent and doesn't want to give him a chance. He has done this all four matches where he's really gotten off to a fast start, two or three in a row. He said 247, 247, 279. If I could do some quick math, that's a, that's a very high average and a great profile look of Kent. So solid at the line. Well, I'm sure Kent wouldn't mind spending some of that energy by shooting a 300, firing a 300 here. They? Yeah, he, yeah. Championship match. Time that's to do it. That's probably exactly what he's thinking right now. Yeah. <laughs> After the third frame. He wants four in a row. Just this one. <laughs> Will he get back? Oh, he is so dialed in. It's almost unfair. That eight pin almost stood up, Marsh. He is in a groove. Look at this ball as it rolls up. You, could, you couldn't place it in the pocket any better, and he just loves that. He knows it. It's one thing to carry a fortunate strike, but when you can continually pound the pocket flush like that, boy, it just really elevates your confidence. Not unusual. 
Hit the nose, hit the nose, make a good shot, doesn't carry. Makes up the spare. But there's one thing Safino has shown me is that when he when he does get an opportunity, he takes it right to the lead. Now he's going to have to figure out one or two things, either how do I bowl more strikes in the title match, or how do I sabotage my opposition <laughs> so they don't start out with the front four? Good frame in, gets a strike. And eh, maybe that'll get him going a little bit. Well, you know, he's still just 33 pins down after, after his fifth frame. Excuse me, we'll make that 43. Kent uh, up by that margin and his last win last year in the Brunswick Johnny Petraglia Open. Looking for five. <laughs> Marshall.